And now, your first alert weather. The weather windows are open. Good morning, Jeff Roper in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. Good yawn in Pocatello and Idaho Falls at Jackson with a, a little less fog than we had yesterday. Uh, and I can't tell whether that's a cloud or we need to squeegee this thing on top of local over <laughs> Uh, somebody help a brother out. That may be some uh, fog this morning or some haze. We have some smoke that is going to be drifting around and it's creating some very luminescent sunrises for us. It's beautiful to begin with. And it is August the 4th. It was on this date in 1956. You know what happened? What happened? I'll give you a hint, a musical hint. Down, 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 down. Electric guitar, something. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yes, the king, Elvis Presley, released You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. Oh, which, by okay. the way, that was a remake. A lot of people don't know that. That's true. Uh, but the king released that. And a big Elvis stuff going on right now with everybody and the, you know, the movie that had just come out. My kids have seen it like four times. So what's old is new again. I have a job forever. We've got <laughs> showers and storms that we're expecting into the afternoon here with some gusty winds. We've reissued our fire weather warnings into the central mountain areas because it's going to be hot, windy, and there's a risk of some storms. And with that being said, we don't need any more fire danger, but it can pick things up and move things around. We're seeing the influx of that smoke into the valley areas and into western Wyoming. We're going to hit the low 90s around here today. It'll be 86 in Driggs. Look at that beautiful sunrise this morning over Idaho Falls. Crisp and clean, 52. Pocatello 54 over the hostile Holt Arena. Uh, and we're looking forward to Charlie taking over the football team there. 47 in Jackson with a little chill in the air, but you can see the sunshine on the hillside. And I think you're going to like what you have to see today if you can escape any kind of isolated thunderstorm. Now, some of those will start to skirt through here in the mid morning hours across the central mountain areas. Mackey, Howe, Arco, be ready for some uh, rain, some drenching rains as we get into tomorrow. Salmon has some smoke this morning. These winds are going to shift to the south and the west with the influx of some of this monsoonal moisture. So a hazy day thanks to fires and smoke in the area, especially into Rexburg and Sugar City. It's going to be windy into the afternoon around here. 25 plus gust, gustier around thunderstorms. You can't rule out small hail and dangerous lightning as we know from this past weekend's news that we've had. Uh, we're going to see the winds calm after we get through these showers and storms into Saturday. Here's the Viper cast, and we'll track these storms into about 10 a.m. into the central mountain areas. We start to see more development into the southeastern highlands across Income and Grace, Soda, Lava. If you're going to be in the water down there, I caution you, you should stay away from water during lightning and thunder showers. Please exercise hail around hail. You may see some of that as well. It'll be 86 in Lava today, 91 McCammon, 91 Malad, and then we'll start pushing the lower 80s into Jackson for the afternoon with the chance of a shower or storm. Tomorrow is our real first alert weather day with continued chances of storms as we get into tonight. But there are isolated thunderstorm chances, hence the fire weather warning to the north of Island Park and into Montana and into the central mountain areas for Butte, Custer, and Limhigh counties. 94 for Salmon today. It'll be 87 in Mac 89 at the Atomic City, and uh, you may see a thunder bumper as we get into 9, 10 o'clock this morning when you go out to take a break. 91 at the site. It'll be 94 in Aberdeen for the afternoon with some of that smoky haze and bright sun. So warming up into the 90s today. We warm up and then we start storming up. We're going to drop the temps about 10 degrees on into tomorrow from 93 to 81 in Blackfoot. It'll be 90 for the afternoon in Rexburg. Some smoky haze and we start bumping and grinding with these showers and storms into tomorrow to make things a little uncomfortable around here. Salmon, it'll be 94 and hot hazy with a 1 in 3 chance of storms lowering the temps about 10 degrees over the next couple. Some of that smoke and haze there into Jackson this morning. It'll be about 86, and we're going to significantly drop the temperatures into the upper 70s for western Wyoming and our mountain communities of Moose and South Park and the Target parking lot. Pocatello, it'll be 92 for the afternoon, and then we drop it down to about 82 on into Friday, and we storm around in here into early Saturday, and then we begin our warm-up on into Sunday and Monday for those of us that have to continue to work and pay bills. Those of you going on vacation, Emma, uh, will not be here to enjoy that. It'll be 91 for the action. Start me, stand by, I'm talking. 91 <laughs> and sunshine and a good chance of storms into Friday and a lot cooler. Look at this, 79 degrees. Makes you want to stay in town, doesn't it? It'll be right around 80 for Saturday. There's a big feud brewing now between 
between Carrie Underwood and Kelly Clarkson. Did you oh know boy. that? Yeah, they oh, both drama. released it. Yeah. So what's the silliest thing you've argued about? 